Okay, so this just came in the mail. Um, I don't have a tripod, so I'm gonna try to open it with one hand and film with the other. But that's why I have a crowd for already, but if you can see there. Philadelphia DJ Supplies. On the recommendation of my guitar tech, Frank Montana. And uh, let's see what these are. I know what they are, but you're gonna find out. Kind of hard to see when you open these up. So I think about this when I was doing the first part. But um, these are guitar tuning pegs. For what you ask? Well, I have a. a for a year, for about three or four years, maybe five, maybe even six, I don't know, that's 2014. Almost six years, my main guitar was a Jackson Rhodes V, not the one I use usually see, it's got a black and white stripes on it. But uh, yeah, that was, my, that was my old one, my original one, the first one I got. And uh, I haven't been able to play it for almost a year now because the tuning pegs pretty much just rotted out. So I ordered some new ones, finally. Um, and it just came in the day, so I'm going to put them on at some point today. So, uh, yeah, these are Godo brand tuners from Japan. Caution, these are really nice package. Really nice package, really nice packaging. So, yeah, here they are. Um... I'm not sure I'll put them on, but it's gonna cut to me putting them on right now. Oh, one more thing. How nice of them. Shout out to uh, Philadelphia Leaf here. They sent me cool pics and then a business card. That's awesome. Always love little goodies. Yeah, these these were really inexpensive, but you know, not ridiculous, but like, you know, a good price for what they are. So, uh, yeah, see how they work. So this is the guitar I was talking about. This is uh, pretty, I think, oh god, it's so dusty. Um, probably the cheapest uh, roads you can get. But yeah, I used it quite a bit. This is pretty much the guitar I learned how to shred on. It used to be Kathy Rhodes' signature right there, and I think Kelly Rhodes, Randy Rhodes' brother. Still right there, yep. I broke Don't Screw Up, so stupid. Oh, and another thing too is I broke the headstock. I got really mad at band practice because I kept fucking up a certain part, so you can even see it. Uh, yeah, it's cracked. You can't even see that. Yeah. Believe me, there is a crack. It's split like right down the middle, like right beginning of the J right there. You can kind of see it. Um, but no, I haven't played this in a while because the tuners are just, you can't even, especially the A string, you can't even move them. And therefore, it like never stayed in tune, so you need new tuners bad. It probably needs new frets and new bridge and everything. Look at that bridge. Everything's worn out. I'm gonna make that sticker. Because I love making it, as you know. So, yeah. I'm very excited to hopefully get this thing up and running again. So, let's uh, cut off the strings and put on the tuner.
Okay, so I just got the first one out. Um, yeah, this is the old tuner. It's pretty, one of them. It's pretty beat up. Use it a lot, so. Um, I don't really have a tripod or anything, so I can't, like, be painting the ass just to hold it here. So I'm just going to show you guys. Here's before. And then I'll show it when all of them are out, and then I'll show you after. And yeah, yes, I carved my initials into it because I'm stupid. But yeah, so I'm very excited. Okay, the tuners are off, and uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. There's the crack, clear as day. Uh, Absolute Anarchy was had a band practice, and we were playing Overkill, if I remember correctly. And uh, I kept messing it up, and I usually didn't, so I smacked it against a cymbal. As you can tell, I did that. Get a good shot of that. Quite a bit, and nothing usually happened. So I figured, no big deal. Well, it did happen, it split, and <laughs> I think there's pictures of it and shit. Pretty funny. There's the glue on the back, because I wrote a signature. But yeah, I, lo I love how you can tell that these things were on there for a minute and look those lines. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna put them back on. Also, I just did that. I actually had From Hell written on there in black Sharpie, but I'm a big Dimebag fan. And Pantera, there's Dimebag. Um, so, Homage to him, the Jackson from Hell. I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. It turned out better than I thought I was going to do, because usually when you write out something like that, it looks all wonky. But yeah, so there, I'll share that. Let's put them on. All right, they are on. Yes, I know this one's crooked, but I couldn't get it straight, so fuck it, I said. But yes, they're all, they're not rusted in the book. The old ones. up rusted whatever these are nice they look very clean and i'm very excited to put strings on it and play it again on the jackson Be back in a second when i got strings on well it is strung up and uh, i've been playing it for the past couple hours or so i know what changes i'm gonna make probably put some new pickups in there um Need to set up some action stuff so off, but it's 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 still uh, very special to me. So uh, hopefully you'll see it in the video soon. But yeah, tuners look great. You're staying in tune, so that's good. That's what I'm supposed to do. So uh, yes, the jacks.